Hello everyone and welcome to SOP Academy. In this video, we are going to see a Wipro interview experience. So this is the latest interview which was held on 18th of March 2022. The branch of the candidate was computer science and the duration of this interview was 20 to 25 minutes. So if you are going to give an interview in any company in the upcoming days, then you can share your interview experience after giving your interview at this email ID studyonpointacademy at gmail.com. Link is given in the description. And also do join our telegram group. Uh, in that group, we discuss with each other related to different queries and all. So you can join the telegram group. So let us start with this video. So the first question was introduction. This is a very common question in 99% of the interviews. This question is asked. So do prepare your introduction well. The next question was what kind of internships have you done? This candidate was from computer science. So you must have mentioned some internships. So, so this question was asked what kind of internships have you done? So in this you can explain the technology on which you have been working in the internship and whether it was paid or free because it is very important to know if you are getting paid then that means you are skilled enough that someone is trying to pay you. So th uh, that is a key point. So the next question was where is AI used in the industry? AI is used in various different sectors. So first one is navigation apps. So uh, you have used navigation apps such as Google Maps. So it uses AI to analyze the speed of movement of traffic. It also takes in user uh, reported incidents such as traffic accidents or road construction to predict how long it will take you to reach your destination. So this is uh, first one is navigation apps. Second is Ola Uber. So everyone has used Ola Uber. So in this AI is used to calculate your fare. So the cost that you will have to pay to move from one place to another. It is also used to calculate the time to reach the destination according to the traffic and road types. And also the AI selects the best driver for you with the help of various factors. Uh, and the third is streaming services like Netflix Prime Video. So the AI in these platforms helps in recommending the movies or shows that you have that you are most likely to watch. So there are various other examples as well, but I have used some of the most popular ones. So navigation apps, Ola Uber and uh, third one is Netflix and Prime Video. Uh, coming to the next question, explain the features of OOPS. So OOPS uh, full form uh, is object oriented programming. It comprises of four features. The first is inheritance, second is encapsulation, third is polymorphism and the last one is data abstraction. So I have mentioned these. Uh, what you have to do is just read a little about each one of these so that you can explain if if uh, the next question comes that what is encapsulation so you are able to uh, explain to the interviewer. Uh, after this the question was asked what is a class? How much memory does class occupy? So a class in C++ is the building block that leads to object oriented programming. So it is one of the very essential uh, features of the object oriented programming. It is a user defined data type which holds its own data members and member functions which can be accessed and used by creating an instance that we know is object. So uh, here it is how we define class. So first you write class then you give the name of the class. So class class name then curly brackets and inside there will be data members and member functions. Coming to the next part of this question, how much memory does class occupy? So class is just a blueprint. It doesn't occupy any space as long as variable of type class has not defined. Once the object that is instance of the type class is defined, the class member will occupy some space in memory. So class itself will not occupy any memory but the uh, object or the instance that will define that member will occupy some space in the memory. Uh, the next question was what is a DML language? So in SQL we have various languages. One of it is DML. The full form is data manipulation, uh, data manipulation language. So SQL commands that deal with the manipulation of data present in the database belong to the DML or data manipulation language. This includes most of the SQL statements. It is it is the component of the SQL statement that controls access to data and to the database. Uh, so these are the list of DML commands. The first one is insert, the second is update, third is delete and the last one is log. Uh, these are not all but I have mentioned some of the most popular ones. So insert it is used to insert data into table, update is used to update the existing table, delete will be used to delete records and that log will be used to table control concurrency. So <clears throat> these are some of the DML commands. 
The next question was what is difference between free and delete used in C++. So let us look at the differences. So first of all delete is an operator whereas free is a library function. This is the main difference between the two. The next is delete free allocated memory and calls destructor. But free will deallocate memory but does not call destructor. The last is delete is a faster than free because an operator is always faster than a function. The next question was how much would you rate yourself in C++ out of 10? So in this I would suggest you not to go very high or very low. You can say 7 to 8 would be a good number to rate yourself. So just give 7 8 so that if you give 9 or 10 very high then uh, exp you can expect to have some good questions coming towards you after you say 8 or 9 or 10. And the next question was why do you want to work in Wipro? So uh, for this you must know about the company first. So do some research on Wipro and find out what are the perks and benefits that are being provided to its employees and why it will be better to join Wipro than the other companies. So you must uh, do some background research for this question. After this he was asked are you aware of the service agreement? So Wipro has service agreement as you all know. Uh, so currently it is I guess 75,000 is the service amount and it is for two years. I am not sure. Uh, I have just heard it from some candidates. So you can just uh, clarify it. What is the uh, security deposit and what is the, uh, the service duration and what is the uh, security deposit. After this mention some of your weaknesses and how did you overcome them. After this he was asked anything you want to ask or say. So at last uh, the uh, the interviewer will ask you whether you want to ask something or not. So if you have some doubts you can ask. Uh, I suggest every time that you must always ask some questions because uh, the more like the more you are talkative in an interview the more easily you are able to communicate the better chances you have that you will get selected. So be interactive in an interview. So this was an interview experience from Wipro. I will be sharing many more interview experiences from Wipro. So do subscribe to our channel and also do join the telegram group. In that group we solve various doubts and queries that various students have. So if, if you have given some assessments of any companies, if you have given interviews and you have some doubts, so you can post those doubts there. And I also post uh, job updates in that group. So you can directly go to the link and you can apply for various companies. So that is all for this video. Uh, do subscribe to our channel and join our telegram group. So thank you for watching the video. We will meet soon with another video.